Today we will be given a brief tutorial on Class Dojo. First thing you want to do is go to classroomdojo.com and you can log in or sign up if you have an account or create a new one. If you create a new one, you fill in all your information here and hit sign up. You can choose to fill in a school that you are currently working at, but for now, we will just go to our home page. This is what our home page looks like. A few options at the top. First one, you can click this button here to refer a teacher. Next one is there's questions. And the final one is your name with account settings, refer a teacher, and log out. You can also add a picture by clicking add your photo here. Below, if you wanted to add a school that you hadn't previously done, you can now do that as well. We'll start off by going into our demo class to get things started. So here's what your demo class would look like with all of your students listed out here. Now if we wanted to give student feedback based on what they've done, we just go in and click on their name and we can pick whatever positive feedback we would like to give them. So they're working hard, so we'll give them a plus, plus one for working hard. So Bradley Pitt got a plus one for working hard. We can also give negative feedback and it's called needs work. So picture Cameron Diaz was unprepared for class today. We could give her a negative one for being unprepared. And it shows the score totals at the top. Now we can also go into viewing our reports up in the top right corner here. This will show us our student progress. So this is the entire class the progress and we can go individually by student. The nice thing about this is you can see their feedback based on their a certain period of time and you could use this for a report card, say, to mark them on their learning skills. You can also go and see the different length of time to view their report. And you could say all time, for example. Now, we've only given one point now, so obviously it's 100% positive, only on our one point. So for now, it just shows us that. But you could use this for report cards, as I mentioned. There's a view, a spreadsheet here, that you could download this onto a spreadsheet and you could view the data on an Excel spreadsheet if you prefer, and you can also print it if you would like. Now, off to the left here, there's a student account and parents account. So you can hit download and print all invites if you would like. What this will do is it will download a secret or a code for each student and parent to have. So we've clicked on download that, okay, got it, and we'll click on that file to see what we, what we get. So if we open it up, each student, so this is Halle Berry's page, there's a student account code and a parent account code. You could give this to students to send home and they could download the app for this for Class Dojo or use the website and sign in using that code to track their progress and parents could track progress as well. That's one of the nice benefits of this site. You can also invite parents by their email should you prefer rather than sending the downloading the file and sending that home. There are also options at the top, like class story. We can click on that and it's very similar to a Facebook or Instagram type of idea where you can post pictures and posts if you choose to. And there's also messaging where you can message back and forth with parents if that was something you chose to do once you invited parents to have access to their student's account. For now, we will go back to our classes and look into adding a classroom of our own. So if we go back to our home page and we click the button add a class, we may now add our own class. So let's say we wanted to add our period 5 music class. We can type in period 5 music. And if we'd like we can change an icon up at the top. So let's change it to a music note there, a nice TT. And we can select the grade if you'd like as well. So for now, we're in fifth grade class. So we'll add our class. Now, every class has to have students in it. So you could choose to enter students' name one at a time and then hitting enter, as so. This is a lot of work, however. So there is a much more efficient way to do this. So in the top bar, you can see there's options to say copy and paste from Word or copy and paste from Excel. If you click on those, as so, it will show you the format that the Class Dojo would like you to have the names typed in Word 
that you could copy and paste right from Word into Class Dojo. That way, you don't have to type out each student's name one at a time. You could likely take this right off of your attendance sheet and copy and paste it into Word or right into Class Dojo as well. So, once we've finished adding all of our students, we'll say we're done adding students. And to invite our students and parents to join the class, we hit next. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but what this does is prints that PDF file with the codes for the students and the parents. So we have downloaded it, we won't open it. A really nice feature of Class Dojo is you can download in another language. If you have students that are ESL or parents who don't speak English, possibly you could use this to send them send this to them instead and they could understand what you are saying which is great and you can hit done with invites the next thing here we can customize our behaviors so you can use these preset behaviors or you can use your own you may also import them like in the top here so if, if we wanted to import from our demo class we could do so or if you've created one class with all the ones you would like now import that into another one now, options here, we can delete them. So, as we did there, we didn't want perseverance, so we went in and deleted it. Another option is to add new behaviors. So, picture we want to assess learning skills for the report card, one of them being responsibility. We could say homework is a part of responsibility. So, let's add a behavior to completing another homework. There is options for point weighting, so one, two, three, four, five. You can choose however you want it to weight them. For now, we'll leave it at a one and we'll save. Another option is to go into the needs work, behaviors, and skills, and which we'll do, and we can add behaviors the same way as we've done we have done before. So for example, if students didn't complete their homework, we could say no homework. We could change the icon again to a, maybe a thumbs down for not completing their homework. And again, we can leave the weighting at a negative one should we choose. So. We could add, continue to add more behaviors if we like, but for now, we'll leave it at that. So we will hit finish now in the bottom here. And now here we have our first created classroom. Here we have all of our students that we created, and we can do many different things as we have shown before. Some of the additional features are at the top here. You can see there's groups. So we can create our own groups picture we have students sitting at different tables we could label table groups so if we have table one let's say and we'll put Dan and Amanda sitting at that table and we'll create a group similarly if we had another table say table two where Matt was sitting we could create that group with Matt in it now the benefit of this is if you have group work or if you have table groups, you can assign points to the entire group if they are working well, not working well together, as we're demonstrating here on the screen. And the nice thing is that assigns points to each student in the group. So if we go back and out of students, you can see Amanda and Dan both have one point for being awarded uh, one point for their group. It's another nice feature that Class Dojo offers. One of the others is that you can assign points to the whole class. So as you can see here on the screen that we're doing, we click whole class, and if they all, let's say, are on task or not on task, you can assign positive or needs work points to the entire class at a time. So let's say no one did their homework, we assign no homework to the whole class, and you can see the points have now been updated for each student. So Amanda, Dan down to zero, and Matt down to negative one. If we didn't want to assign it to the whole class, we could assign to just a selected amount of students. So we clicked at the bottom there, award multiple, and we clicked the names of the students we wanted to give positive. So Matt and Amanda, for this example, completed their homework. And we could choose to assign not homework or no homework done to those who did not do their homework as well. It's another great feature, rather than going one student at a time, you could use this to do a homework check, select students one at a time. Another feature that Class Dojo offers is an attendance. And you could not you can't use this to complete your attendance per se for the school, but you can give points to students who are only here at class. So if you have that every student is working hard, 
But Dan is away. You don't want to assign him points for that. So you would mark Dan away by turning his icon to red and then assign points to the whole class. So now Amanda and Matt received a point, but Dan did not because he is away. <coughs> you can also go back down to the attendance and every day and change the attendance to set the attendance to mark all as present or all absent, whatever you would like. There's also another feature, a random button. So if you're picking a volunteer or if you wanted to do homework, a random homework check, let's say, you could hit randomize, find one student, and check if Matt has, has his homework done, or just use that as a way to get volunteers, another feature. There's also a timer at the bottom. You can, there's a stopwatch or a countdown. Should you choose to use that, that is another feature that Class Dojo offers. Now before we go back to our home page, there is one last thing we want to look at within each classroom, and that is the settings bar at the top to the right. There are a few options. There's edit class, connect parents, connect students, reset bubbles, and display settings. Edit class, you can change the students that are in it. You can remove students, add students. A nice feature. Connecting parents and students, it's very similar to what we've done before where you're giving access to students. The reset bubbles thing is nice because picture you're playing around with the settings or it, or you're playing around with awarding students points or it's the first semester and you've done report cards for the first term. You can reset the bubbles to set them back to zero. Another feature is then the display settings. Now with the display settings you can change the avatar size. You could sort by first name or last name you can, for the points, you can combine the total, so have the positive and negatives combined. You can have them separate, so have two numbers, one for positive, one for negative. Or you could also have it to not display points. So that's an option if you wanted to display Class Dojo, all the icons the students have created. This way they're not competing against each other, or you have students that are upset that they have a higher or lower score. So that's another option. There are last few things. There's you can show award notifications and play award sounds. So while you're notifying students, you can have the pop up and make noise, or you could turn that setting off. That really wraps it up for our tutorial of using Class Dojo. There are just a few last important few points uh, that we wanted to reiterate. One of the things is that you can use this either for yourself as a classroom management tool and for your own anecdotal records for using such as a report card, or you can share this with students and parents. It's really up to you. There's pros and cons to each. It would be something that you would want to experiment with. Another nice thing and a feature of Class Dojo is there is an app that is for Android and iOS that would be really nice to be able to use uh, for, say, in a gym class where you wouldn't want to be carrying around a computer to mark students' effort and participation. We'll head back to the home page now and take a last-minute look at just a few things. So we can edit our classrooms and our different classes, if we would like, by just pressing the little gear on top of them. And there's a few different settings, uh, many of them being which that are already uh, mentioned on the website. And also, there are a few little uh, links at the bottom here, uh, little boxes there you can click. There's a little more information about Classroom Dojo, how to use it, um, and a little bit more information. So we really hope you enjoyed our video and hope that you can use Classroom Dojo in your classroom to benefit you as a teacher.